Hey guys, Todd here. Today we're installing the FIA Wrangler Series custom fit seat covers on this 2020 Ram 2500 crew cap. Now this is a similar installation for other applications, so make sure you're subscribed to our channel to stay up to date with all our latest content. Now let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we're gonna start with a seat bottom over here on the passenger side. You can tell the difference between the passenger side and the driver's side seat bottoms because of the location of the whole four hour seat belt. So we're gonna go ahead and take all of the straps that are hanging out of here, hang them over the edge of the seat, wrap the elastic over the edge, go ahead and run the seat belt through the hole, and then go ahead and work this portion between the seat back and the seat bottom. This strap right here, what you're gonna to wanna to do is run it between uh, the seat frame and the cushion. Yeah, you also wanna make sure the strap is tucked down so that it can connect on the opposite side with this strap. Okay, now I've already got all three of the straps pulled from the front of the seat bottom back to the back. Now what we're gonna do is look at the part of the, the factory seat back that comes down. There's a couple of clips that are holding that into position underneath the, uh, the factory seat. We're gonna undo those clips and then raise the seat back up. Now here we can see the, the uh, FIA seat cover that we push through. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pull that nice and tight. Now each one of these straps are gonna line up to that seat cover buckle and run from the bottom through the top and back down. And then you wanna make sure that it's run the correct way. So if you pull on it, it should give you some resistance. Then we can go ahead and tighten that down. Now keep in mind, this is a buckle that once it's installed, you can quickly unclip it if you wanna remove and clean up the seat cover. That's how all these buckles are set up. But now I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that down and do these other two buckles the same. All right, next what I'm gonna do is I've already got this strap pulled through. This came from the side of the seat cover and then up underneath here, it's gonna might be a little bit hard for you guys to see, but we've got another buckle and clip right over here. We're gonna run this one through that buckle uh, the same way we did these three here. All right, and we're gonna go back up top, make sure everything's nice and snug, do any kind of adjustments, and then snug everything back down. We're not gonna reset this just yet because we still need to do the seat back before we reset this. Okay, now before we can put the seat cover onto the seat back, we need to first take off the headrest. So we're gonna lift straight up, push in on this button and this button at the same time and pull that headrest all the way off and set it to the side. Next, we're gonna locate our passenger side uh, seat cover for the seat back. And um, the way you can tell the difference between the passenger side and driver's side is the airbag deploys out of this side and here is our airbag opening. So we know we got the right side. Next, we're gonna go ahead and slip this right over top of this seat back. Uh, now I like to kind of roll it inside out just a little bit to let it slip over a little easier. And just go ahead and work it down. Now, what you wanna do is get this where it lines up with the seam on the seat. And then this portion right here, we're gonna work between the seat bottom and the seat back in between the seats. Notice we got four pieces of Velcro that are on here. Those are gonna become very important very soon. We're gonna make sure it's nice and straight. Everything's lining up. Go ahead and push it down in between. All right, now, these four pieces of Velcro, what we're gonna do is kind of pull them apart, then put your finger in between the Velcro and the, uh, the cushion, and then work 
the Velcro through the seat back. Do that with all four pieces of Velcro. Okay, now here are the four pieces of Velcro coming through. What I like to do is grab a hold, give it a nice tug, and get it attached like so. Next, we can go ahead and pull this down. Then on the seat back, we've got a little window that's right here that is for this portion right here. And then this wraps around like so on the corners. Once that's wrapped into place, we can go ahead and fold this down. And that pulls everything nice and tight back here. And then we can refasten the factory clips to the locations they came off of. Okay, so here is our headrest. And here is our headrest cover for proper orientation. I want you to take a look at this. This is where the Velcro is together. It goes, this goes on top of that portion. This is the front and this is the rear. So we're gonna go ahead and slip that over top of our headrest and work it side to side, bring it down, make sure that our seams are lined up on the headrest. Bring that, get that stretched over and set into place like so. We can go ahead and take our headrest and set it in. Repeat the same process for the opposite side. Now for the rear, we're gonna start with a passenger side seat bottom. Um, we're gonna take all of these straps, pull them through this side. We got five straps and then we're going to take this, go ahead and pull it around the seat bottom along the front, get it lined up with the seam. Raise it up. Let's see where everything's going. We've got another clip that's right here. Let's go ahead and run these through. Now, we'll, you'll see these openings here. These all coordinate with the child safety hooks that are here. So we're gonna loop these openings around the child safety hooks, but the seat belts are gonna go over top of uh, this. So we're gonna tuck it underneath the seat belt. So we're gonna go about like this. Go around this child safety seat clasp here and around here. And now we can lift this up and go ahead and pull it from the back. Right, and just like what we did with the seat bottoms before, we're gonna run this through the buckle and pull it nice and tight. Again, if you want to take off the seat cover, we've got the buckle, works just like that. Do all five of these. Okay, so now we're going to work on the passenger side seat back. Uh, now we do have a seat belt and also an armrest to contend with. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna just feed this side through like so. And next, before we can loop this over top of the seat back, we need to pull off these headrests and pull the headrest out. Because the seat doesn't actually fold forward without some major surgery, what I like to do is first line up uh, the headrest posts, get those set in place, and then wrap it around. We're gonna tuck this back behind our seat belt bracket back here. And next what we wanna do is take all these straps and start to feed them back between the seat back and the back of the cab. All right, 
next we can go ahead and tuck these in between the seat bottom and the seat back. Now with the armrest, we can go ahead and pull this through and then just for now, we're gonna set this in place, push our Velcro through here. And pull our Velcro straps out. We'll finish this off along with the armrest cover when we get there. But for right now, we're gonna go ahead and lift this up. Everything we're tucking underneath here, we need to also go over top of uh, the child safety restraint brackets that are in here because those are actually attached to the seat bottom. So when the seat bottom comes up, everything from the seat back needs to go over top of everything attached to the seat bottom. There we go. Now reach underneath and start pulling everything through. On the corners, you'll notice we've got these straps. They're attached. We can use those to pull everything down. You may also notice as I'm pulling that down, this Velcro piece is actually coming down along with it. That's gonna get tucked back behind and attached at the back. Okay, so here are the buckles that we have that are attached to the seat back cover. And these are the straps that are coming back that we just fed between the seat back and the back of the cab. Um, now, sometimes these are a little bit difficult to get fish through. Just work it back and through, forth until they fall down through. Um, and we're just going to do the same exact thing that we've done before with the buckles. We feed it through on the top and then back through on the bottom. And once it goes through, check it to make sure it's tight. And then we can cinch it down. Now, this strap you want to pull down from the top. Uh, because that's what will get it nice and snug up at the top. Do all of our buckles like that. All right, now we've got our armrest cover. What we're going to do here, lift our armrest up at a little bit of an angle. And then I, I like to kind of turn it inside out just a little bit uh, so that it starts to slide right over top. Now, keep in mind, we've also got this cloth tab sticking out of the end of the armrest. We want that to come through this hole here. And then we're going to get it nice and snug. Make sure everything lines up to the factory seams. And then as we bring this down up on the top here, we're also going to bring it down on the bottom and then feed this portion in between and out, back out the top. Now, sometimes that will fight you a little bit because there is Velcro attached to it and it likes to stick to itself. The Velcro likes to stick to the saddle blanket material. So we're going to get it nice and pulled tight here. We got Velcro on the top that we just pulled through the bottom. We're going to take this Velcro and attach it just like so. And there we go. We have the armrest cover, make sure everything's lined up on the bottom. Okay, now to finish off the armrest cover portion, uh, what we've got on the inside of this, you're gonna see we've got some Velcro here, some that runs along here, along here, and let's not forget, we've got these two pieces of Velcro that we pulled in from the bottom. Um, now, obviously, we don't have anything right here to attach them to, so in your kit, you're gonna have some individual strips of Velcro I'm going to open that up, pull some out, and then we're going to attach them like so, get them nice and straight. Okay, now before we peel and stick anything, we want to have a nice clean surface where we're going to be attaching to. So also in your kit, you're going to have these alcohol prep pads. We're just going to take one of them, open it up, and wipe down all of these surfaces with alcohol that the Velcro is going to be attaching to. 
All right, once that is taken care of, we're gonna go ahead and each piece, peel the tape protectant away. And set it in place. All right, there we go. Okay, now here is the center headrest, center headrest cover. Uh, what we're gonna do, again, it this comes from the front. Um, now you're gonna notice you got a seam that comes back here. That's gonna line up to the seam that's on the top of the headrest. So what we're gonna do, is do one side first, tuck it around to the other side. Just make sure that back seam kind of lines up. That's gonna bring our Velcro right to here. And we can pull this through and attach our Velcro just like so. Let's move to the other headrest. And go ahead and slide that over top as well. You might, might want to work it down one side at a time. Get nice and pulled snug at the bottom. And try to keep that seam lined up with the factory seam. Again, that's gonna bring our Velcro right to here and we'll attach it. Now we can reattach our headrests. All right, now that the passenger side rear seat is done, the driver side rear seat is gonna be very similar, just a lot simpler. So we're gonna do the bottoms, then the seat backs, followed by the headrest. Well, that concludes the installation. If you found this video helpful, make sure and give us a thumbs up. If you want to know more about the product, check the link in the description below. As always, if you have any questions, call the experts or visit us online.